This month, I've been working on an idea that just won't go away. A puppet show. I thought I would document the process and show you here. It seems only right, seeing as all the elements on set, including the puppet, are indeed handcrafted by myself. The puppet show has been an idea that's been rolling around in my head for years, but for many reasons I've been too afraid to make it. But now having posted five videos here on Handcrafted, I finally felt like I had the courage to make it a reality. I began with the puppet. I wanted it to be a cat. Its head is made out of svelted soft toy stuffing, with extra bits added to create the right shape. Felting in this way can take a bit of time, but it is very satisfying watching it come together. Once you're happy with the shape, you can add some eyes and then use a single needle to add more delicate details like ears, different colours to enhance the features and of course fur. I had a clear idea of how I wanted it to look, so it took some practice to be able to actually create what I wanted. Happy with the aesthetic, I began experimenting with the body. I tried armatures and wires, stop motion and puppetry, and I found I wanted to do a bit of a mix of both. I did lots of screen tests to see how I wanted the puppet to move and what was going to work with it just being me producing it. Next, I needed to come up with an outfit. Initially, I thought it should be wearing a suit I made one but instantly decided I want it to have a more casual look. So I made a super cute wee jumper. Yes, it's made out of my old socks. Happy with the outfit, I moved on to creating a storyboard. They may be basic, but they were essential in figuring out what my miniature set would need, as well as a clear shot list. I also made a mood board and that's been so useful in creating a cohesive aesthetic. Once I had a list of things that needed to be made, I could begin creating the set and props. I started with a pair of pyjamas, some slippers. I particularly loved making the slippers. It was quite tricky to work at such a small scale, but the final result I absolutely love. And then I made a chair, a hat, a mask, a mouse, a robin. Another really fun prop was making the bed. Not forgetting the bedding. I really loved making the bedding. It was like making a teeny tiny patchwork. And then I found a mini iPhone and iPad. I made a side table and some books. I ripped up mouse and its intestines and a teeny tiny little heart. You see, this is a horror puppet show. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I absolutely love making it. Once the set is complete, it's time to film, record the audio, edit it into something, and then the bit I'm always going to be nervous about, releasing it into the world. There are two videos out in the world now. They're not just rolling around in my head. The channel is called, I don't want to think about this anymore. It's about an anxious cat that has intrusive thoughts. If you like what you've seen in this video, I can't guarantee that you're gonna like what I've done over there, but I sure would love for you to go and check it out. You'll see it linked in the description below. I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who's liked my videos, left messages of support. Without this little community and the kindness that you've shown me, I would never have had the courage to make the puppet show a reality. So thank you. If there is something that you've always wanted to do, then please book a class, buy the tools, do anything to take a step towards making it happen. Trust me, you will not regret it. You'll only regret not doing it sooner. Until next time, go make something.